Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And as Disney is laying off, as Disney is cutting its spend, it looks like Universal is going to raise the starting wage to $17 an hour. Right. So Disney is getting rid of people and Disney's cast members right now, um, the unions are in negotiations with Disney. They want more money. They think they're getting $15 an hour, which I think is what kind of pretty much think Universal was getting too. And that's the starting wage and their unions are going back and forth. They want 18 and Disney's saying no. But meanwhile, Universal, who needs to hire like 2,500 plus people, you know, now ahead of Epic Universe, yeah. has just announced that they are going to up their starting wage to $17 an hour. Of course, if you have been around a while, you get more than that. It'll be, you know, appropriate to where you're at. Yeah. And they're going to do a bunch of, ca uh, what they call them, team member. Team member benefits. A lot of them sound like what Josh DeMauro promised to Walt Disney World. I don't even know if they ever went through because he got moved to Parks and Experiences. Yeah, so this is interesting. Basically, they're going to go poach uh, Disney. That's what I think is going on. Disney employees, and they have to because you know Epic Universe. But um, again, no, this is ahead of Epic Universe. They're going to do it again for Epic Universe. Oh, I'm sure. But again, it's like you know this competition is actually very, very good for consumers and apparently employees too because now they're going to fight over the employees. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about this because you know the, Disney. We did a video yesterday. They got slammed for spending a bunch of money on a Super Bowl ad after they cut seven thousand people. Now they weren't like the people in the parks, as I understand. It was mostly like marketing people, PR yeah, people. So I think it is too. Big. But I think there will be people like on the ground too that get cut. Well, eventually. they won't raise cast member pay yeah. a couple bucks. But they'll spend millions on a vanity spot, 90 second vanity spot for the Super Bowl. Yes, yeah, that's what people were pointing out. But they, you know, again, you gotta you gotta buy those way out. But still, Disney's over. But that's even beyond that. They can still give their people a raise, and they haven't. Yeah, they haven't. So let's talk about this because uh, you know Disney loves their family so much, their mm -hmm. cast member family so much. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 293, almost 294,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, we do talk a lot about Disney. Go out to piratesandprincesses.net for more objective Disney news. And also check out the podcast, which we have relaunched. And um, I'm going to let Geeky read this one. This is coming from the Orlando Weekly, and it breaks it down nicely. It's funny, though. I'm sorry. Just for a side tangent for a minute. I love the little the little headers here. News, arts and culture, food and drink, music, movies, cannabis. <laughs> Are we allowed to say that? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was funny. Okay. So... There was a letter sent out to, to team members. They're team members at Universal. They're cast members at Disney World. And they were told that they're getting, a, their pay, pay bumped up from $15 to $17 an hour. And they're going to, and then anybody else, depending where you're at and how long you've been there, your, your pay will be reflective of that too. So it's not just starting people get, a, you know, more money. Mm. Everybody's going to get more money depending on where you're at. And they're also going to... Uh, do some things like to help with the break rooms. They're gonna make the break rooms better. The the bathrooms, but you know, back of house bathrooms better. Um, they're also working to see about making better dining options for uh, team members, which all sound like stuff that Josh Demaro promised he was going to do for Walt Disney World before the pandemic hit, and then the pandemic hit, and that all went away, and he got moved to a different department. So I actually, I actually have the letter. Um, this is all supposed to start taking place. Well. The pay increase is taking place on June 4th. Now, before I read the letter, I want to point out something. Disney can't get enough people to work at the parks, but they have people that are, want to be paid fairly and they aren't being paid $18 an hour. So Universal goes from $15 to $17, which is almost as much as they want at Disney and Disney's, you know, fighting them on. Right, right. So one of the things that they're going to happen, either Disney's going to have to go up to $17 or $18 to match them, or they're going to lose their experienced team member, go you know, their cast members to become team members at Universal. Yeah, and they, they swap they swap employees all the time, but I mean this is more of an incentive to jump ship to right. Disney. And Universal, you know, they were the ones that kept paying their people during the pandemic yes. a lot. They they took care of the people a lot better than Disney did. Yes, they did. Um, so people are you know treated you know better over there, and then now they're offering them more money. And Disney has a, a cast member shortage to begin with. They all are having shortages. So now Universal's probably not going to have a shortage. Everybody's going to jump to them. You know, and Disney's going to be SOL. So it's probably going to get worse over there unless they suddenly say they're going to go ahead and give them the $18 an hour. So here is the letter. You can go ahead and read it because I feel like I'm doing all the talking. Not so Then you'll understand what's going on. Okay, because this is, this is my first experience with this letter. So here we go. Uh, Dear team members, we have so much to look forward to in 2023 as we celebrate the exciting Mardi Gras season and gear up for the summer opening of our new Minion Land at Universal Studios Florida. 
there are all the spark, the one little spark that brings our brand uh -huh. and stories to life. And I could not be prouder to work alongside you. I always walk away from my time visiting with you, feeling energized and inspired to continue to build upon our strong team member first culture. We deeply believe in our mission to provide an inclusive environment where our team members are proud to work and we remain committed to that focus. Therefore, we continually evaluate our compensation, perks, and benefits programs and why we are committed to engaging with and listening to you. We truly believe that TSAT is more than just a survey. It's your voice that helps us build a better universal experience. Now, if that were a Disney letter, hey guys, we appreciate you, but here comes the other, the mm -hmm. other big yellow shoe. We're going to lay half of you off. Bye-bye. No. Uh, wage increases and more benefits. Effective June 4th, we're not only increasing our starting base rate to 17 per hour, but we're increasing many of our starting rates across the business. In addition, many team members will receive an increase based on the new rates and their time with the company. More details about how this individually impacts team members will be shared in the coming weeks. Wages are just one part of our team member satisfaction, and because of your direct feedback, we've also elevated our 401k match and tuition reimbursement, uh, added compassion leave, doubled our parental leave, doubled our parental leave, enhanced family planning benefits, launched the new applause recognition program, and changed team member comp ticket availability from blockout calendar to capacity managed based on park attendance. Yeah, so if, if there's room... Yeah, you so know? that's that's different than Disney. I mean, uh -huh, a, lot, a lot different than Disney. <laughs> that's a lot different than Disney. Uh, we are also focused on elevating the work environment and have begun upgrading break areas, back of house restrooms, and have exciting plans for team member dining that we will share shortly. Doesn't stop there. Our culture seeks to create a path forward that supports our team members, gives them an opportunity to grow, and fosters a real sense of purpose and belonging. In a few weeks, I will be bringing leaders together to kick off the year and talk about our priorities one of which involves making every day epic in preparation for the opening of Epic Universe. I'm excited to share this with you, and I want to again thank you for everything you do to help us successfully deliver extraordinary guest experiences. I'm excited about our future. Love, Karen Irwin. Yes. So they're getting they're getting raises. They're getting, you know, doubled uh, parental leave. All this other stuff that Disney people have been begging for and Disney won't give them. So while Disney's union is trying to renegotiate for a higher rate, Universal is doing it. Uh, and, they, and they did during the pandemic. Too, right. I mean. But they need they need team members. And there's a shortage of workers that are working at the theme parks. And it's not all easy. There's a lot of jobs involved in theme parks that are specialized. And you need somebody who knows what the hell they're doing. It's a lot easier to get somebody to come over from another theme park, SeaWorld even, mm -hmm. and, and work there and kind of already know what the hell they're doing than it is to retrain people. But the people don't pay well enough to train people. What was the, uh, there was a video on TikTok or something. Somebody, was it Shrek Donkey was making fun of somebody working at Disney. It was like, yes. hey, you should come over here. You know, they actually treat us good. Yes. Here. Well, like, that's, that's gone now. So the donkey thing's gone right now. Yeah, so. <laughs> but um, they didn't get treated as well. I'm sure they got moved someplace else. Yeah. So this is right after uh, Disney World workers overwhelmingly stand together, vote no on company's best offer, playing to fight for better pay. I think they were going to take them up to $16 an hour. And that was our, our final offer. Yeah. Well, Universal just uh, went up that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing. That's See, this is the thing. People, people. Let's talk about capitalism. It's one of the it's one of the, the good things about capitalism. There's well, competition. Disney always talks about supply and demand. Yeah. They understand it. They get it. So it's actually good for workers, too, because now they have to compete to keep the best people. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they have to compete. Disney's really, they're really going to have to up their game once Epic Universe opens. And we've got Mario and Minions and Harry Potter. I'm sorry, but Disney's going to look stale and old by comparison. And most kids are going to, they're going to want to go to Universal. Mm -hmm. They're going to be like, Mario and Minions, hell yeah. You know, that resonates with kids now. Mickey Mouse, eh. Yeah. yeah. Eh, whatever. Yeah. Well, they still have Marvel and Star Wars, but yeah, you know, but, yeah. but that's starting to lose its luster. Good yeah. job, Disney. So um, this is good. This is good for the workers, I think. There. Well, Disney always talks about how you have to pay more for like you know GD plus or whatever because supply and demand, guys. Supply and demand. You know, you have to pay more to get park tickets because supply and demand. And then over at Universal, their answer to supply and demand is, hey, we're gonna we're losing the supply of workers, so yes. they're demanding better pay. We'll give it to them, and then we'll have a better supply of workers because we need them to run Epic Universe to bring in more customers. To plus, they they poach Disney people all the time. They, <laughs> so. they do. 
they, they go back and forth. People go back yeah. and forth all the time. But uh, And the people are like, that's a lot of money for starting. But you have to understand, Orlando is very expensive. Yeah. It's kind of like over, you know, in Anaheim. It's very expensive. It's gotten... It's significantly more expensive over the last 10 years in Orlando. Yes. Um, than it was before. Yeah. Orlando used to be pretty reasonable, but I mean, I was talking to people down there and they're like, yeah, we just had an influx of people. Thanks, Disney bloggers. Uh, an influx of people moving in. So the housing prices have gone through the, mm -hmm. through the roof, you know? Um, so yeah, good, good on them. And I will tell you again, you know, when we talked about it, I think in the last video, I took the kids down to, Florida for Halloween Horror Nights. And it was the first time we ever took a trip to Florida and only went to Universal, did not go to, to, to Disney at all. We're pass holders, we didn't go at all. And um, Universal, even though it was very, very busy, it was very, very clean. The cast members, or I'm sorry, team members were very, very polite. Um, everything was clean. Did I stress it was clean? Because last yeah, time I went to Disney, Disney it, wasn't, it wasn't that clean. It wasn't that clean. But even though they had massive crowd, everything was clean, everything was professional. Um, it was it was it was a good time. We had a really good time. And there's so. a lot of cast members at Disney that are upset right now because they're being um, overworked. They don't have enough people, so they're expected to take up the slack. And they are just getting you know Disney used to be like the most amazing uh, cast members. Like they were like the the most friendly, out, you know, easy to get along with. And they take a lot of shit. Let's be yeah. honest. And you know. It's getting, they're, they're, they're getting shorter with people, but can you blame them? I mean, you look at it, I mean, yeah, it's still their job and they still shouldn't do that. But then some of the people we've seen at, at Disney World and some of the stuff they demand, we're just like, what the hell? I would have punched them, you know? It's like, I want to put up with that shit. So it's understandable why people are getting fed up. They're not, you know, they're, it's not staying as clean. It's not staying as friendly. And there's a lot of people who try really hard, but you know, I don't care how nice you are. Eventually you're going to crack. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, you know, when the guests get more and more demanding, uh, you know, it's... And they are. They get they more are. and more. After they're paying more and more, they yeah. want more and more. Yep, they expect more and more. So, all right, are we going to wrap this one up? Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Go out to piratesandprincesses.net for more objective Disney and Universal news, and we will talk to you later. Bye.